Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 17 to September 23rd 2018 <clears throat> now I'm shuffling the cards I want you guys to acknowledge that this is a general reading for the star sign of Capricorn um, if you do want however a personal reading uh, then you have to go to my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well as the pricings for them and as it is at the end of the summer there it is a, a summer end sale that it is going on and it basically that sale adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minute service for making a total of 40 minutes so that being said <clears throat> let me shuffle and uh, we have a, a four card tarot spread for Capricorns now the first card here is about the topic for Capricorns week the second card is about the core of Capricorn situation third card is about the challenges that Capricorns has to overcome and the fourth card is about the guidance <clears throat> that tarot offers you Capricorns so let's see what we got here now we do have the justice card so this week will be about uh, rearranging your priorities in general because this is in the grand scheme of things the meaning of the justice card especially when we talk about career all right of course the justice card speaks that you are gonna get what you deserve regarding what kind of an effort you have put it into a certain activity but that is the superficial meaning of the card the more profound meaning is that uh, you guys need to become accountable toward your actions and toward your decisions and therefore you, it is likely that you are going to start rearranging your priorities either into your career or either into your relationship for example you may start placing your partner or your child in front of yourself you know and first attending to their needs and then attending to your personal needs just afterwards same goes for your career very important here with the justice card is to be acknowledged you know is that you want is if you want something first you have to be willing to give something from your behalf and this is something i have learned in second grade you know that <clears throat> before you take first you have to give and so this uh, week for you Capricorns is going to be that, the game of giving and taking, uh, career-wise or relationship-wise, important or not important. The Justice card points that whatever you do in this week is going to pay off, either in good or in bad way. That depends on what your performance is. If you are surreptitious, if you are sneaky, if you try to do wrong to people, then wrong it is what is going to be the results for you. And if you are kind, if you try, you know, to help people, um, help and kindness, it is what you're gonna face going further into the future. Because uh, this card points that there is no deed for the duration of this week that will remain unpunished either good or either bad but again the prof the profound meaning as a topic is that you have to um, see if your priorities that you have set in front of yourself are accurate regarding the goals that you do have for yourself and which those priorities are going to lead you toward maybe you are prioritizing in an enterprise or activity which is not to be prioritized at this very moment and it is time for you to open your eyes for such of a misplacement of uh, duties and responsibilities <clears throat> and the core of the situation here of why this is happening it is because the knight of pentacles does not sit as a person here but the things will become or your environment you know will become much more simple than it was before so it is likely that the sophisticated situations are going to be resolved and now you will very well know what you need to do what you have to do and how to do it <clears throat> And that will put you in a state where it is likely that you will have higher determination than before, a, a, a lot more compassion 
placed behind your actions when you are about to do something. When we talk about the Knight of Pentacles, it is also likely that you are going to find out where your prosperity lies. Because the Knight of Pentacles, here as you can observe, we do have a man holding Pentacle, a symbol of value, and standing in front of an empty field here, figuring out how to exert that value into this field so the field can give him can give him plants and so the man can harvest those plants afterwards so it is again it is likely that you are very likely going to uh, define for yourself how you can become lucrative how you can become successful and how you know you can it's established stability into your relationship but this is going to require reprioritization and kind of like shuffle and rearranging responsibilities into one's life the challenges however are going to be ten of pentacles so ten of pentacles sits for uh, a very with a very peculiar meaning here the ten of pentacles could sit in the grand scheme of things that you may not have the means necessary for you to make the very first step forward um, <clears throat> toward those new responsibilities for yourself or what I think how the Ten of Pentacles sits is that you have to attract a, a certain support. And this is going to be the challenging part of this week, you know, attracting that support that you need for you to overcome the new priorities and the new responsibilities that you will have to place in front of yourself. So, because for you to kind of attract this uh, support, from a different person in your life you have to first earn their trust and this will consume the majority of your week to earn the trust of that person or of this society of people and that trust can be earned it is this is kind of sounds weird but that trust can be earned if you show them that you can be quite independent so these people value you know independency more than anything else and they don't like to deal with puppets so you know show them that as much as you can do it with them you can do it without them either it is just going to take a little bit more time that means you know that you should be rather unyielding about your um, criteria and about your um, not demands but conditions was the word i was searching for should a contract be signed and then we do have the guidance card for you Capricorns here. This is the page of uh, this is the page of wands, which points the same, literally the same thing as I said with the um, ten of pentacles, because the page of wands uh, is probably the only card showing the uh, showing our personal capabilities in such a light that we realize that we are strong enough on our own. So uh, while it is good, you know, to have support, we can do it on our own either. And that's why uh, we should kind of like revolve our plan regarding those new responsibilities and, you know, reprioritizing situation by first creating a plan as if we are our, on our own and we face whatever challenges you know and whatever difficulties we are to face on our own and then if we are able to win you know that support that great that is great if we don't that's even greater because the page of wands points here that if you do it on your own then the results or kind of like the rewards are going to be only for yourself if you attract other people as the ten of pentacles suggests then you have to share the reward with those people as well but um, <clears throat> it does look like here uh, Capricorns that you will have a choice to make you know should you rely on a certain help and a on a certain support having it a little bit more easy on your behalf and share the reward at the end or should you proceed forward on your own struggle but at the end abandon yourself with the entirety of the reward that it is waiting for you what the reward is going to be well that depend 
how much effort you are going to exert toward your situation. What is the situation? Well, well that depends on your personal affairs and your personal life in general. So um, let's see now what the Lenormand card cards has to say for you Capricorns. They're going to reveal a event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. All right, <clears throat> so the first card that is going to be the house, which speaks for stands, excuse me, for home or for domain. Then the next one that will be the gentleman, which sits for a male. And then we do have the, ta the, uh, the mountain, which sits for problems, delays. So pretty much a very close gentleman of yours is going to uh, cause you difficulties. That could be a brother, as we do have the, uh, the home here, which speaks that it is from your estate. That could be a cousin, a brother, it could be your kid as well from a male gender. It's generally, you can expect that a gentleman or a, a male from a very close environment are, are, is going to cause you difficulties this particular week and it could be very well the one that you need to earn trust from should you earn it well that again depends entirely on you or it could be as well your husband you know so uh, that being said capricorns this was your weekly tarot and lenormand reading for september 17th to September 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and I hope that it does make sense to you, because again, this is a, a general reading for Capricorn star sign. It is not your personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is written down below in the description of this video, and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricings. So that being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.